Hi everyone, in this video we're going to be deploying VMware ACX on our VMZ on the AWS SDDC. So one of the use cases for ACX is to stretch networks between your on-prem data center and your SDDC, but also for migrating VMs from on-prem to your SDDC. And if you use a stretch network, you can even have them on the same network. So in this part, we will be deploying ACX on our SDDC and on-prem. So let's get started. We start by going to add-on and then we activate ACX. In this case, it's already activated. So we open up the console and we click on open ACX. This will lock us into the ACX console. And then for your SDDC, you will have a deploy button. So what you do is you click on deploy and then you wait about an hour for everything to deploy in your SDDC. Once that is done, you will have to go to your firewall and enable access to the HCX manager that is hosted on your SDDC. This is done by going to networking and security. And then what you do is you go to your gateway firewall. You click on the management firewall. And then what you do is you create from your network to the ACX manager. And you also want to allow at least appliance management on the uh, management gateway firewall. Once you've done that, you can click on open ACX and then you should be able to access the ACX console. So what we do is we log in with the cloud admin account. So cloud admin at vmc.local with the password that you, um, that it shows unless you've changed it. And now we are in the XX manager. So what we now do is we go to system updates. And then we click on request download link. So what this will do is this will generate a download link that you can use to deploy the ACX connector on your on-prem environment. So this generating the link takes a little bit. So I'll skip ahead until we have generated the link and then we will be deploying HCX on-prem. Okay, now the download link has been created. So what we can do is we can click on VMware HCX to download it directly or we can copy the URL and download it from somewhere else. So what I did is I tried to click on VMware ACX, but that did not do anything for some reason. So uh, what I did is I ended up doing copy URL and then pasting it in manually. And what that does is that will download the ACX connector, which is, which is, it's a few gigs, so it'll take a while to download. So while we wait for that to download, let's, uh, Let's do a cut again, because that's the magic of video editing. And then I will get back to you once the download has finished. Okay, so now the download has finished. So what we can do is we go to our on-prem free center. And I'm just creating a folder here to make everything nice and neat. And then we'll click on deploy OVF template. We will select the template that we have downloaded. And then we click on next. We choose a nice location and a fitting name for the virtual machine so you know what it is for. Once we've given it in the name, we click next, select what cluster to deploy it on. So it will do some validation, which only takes a little while. So. We wait for it to validate, and once it has validated, we can review the details. Okay, so we click next, we accept the license agreement. We select what data store to put it on. And then in my case, I'm going to do fin provision. We select a, a LAN network for it. We give it a admin user password and a root password. 
and then we give it a host name, a network IPv4 address, prefix length. We give it a gateway. So fill in the IP, prefix length, give it a gateway. Then we can do any static routes if you want to, and then give it a DNS server, which in my case I'm going to do my on-prem DNS server and give it a NTP server. Once that is done, we can click next and finish and the HTS connector will be deploying. So once it is done deploying, I will get back to you. Okay, it has now finished deploying. So what we can now do is we can access the HTS connector through the FQDN or IP address that we've set up. So you go to the link and then port 9443 on HTTPS. And here I filled in the wrong password by accident. But uh, the username will be admin and the password will be the password that you set during, OV, uh, during the OVA deployment. So we click login and then we wait for the UI to load. Now what we do is we go to, we go back to the HCX console and we click on activation keys. We click on create activation key, select the system type and subscription. Then we confirm. We copy the activation key and we paste it in and then we press activate. This will activate the HS connector so you can use it with uh, HX Advanced in this case as this what comes with VMC on AWS. You will get HX Advanced with that. So you click on activate and then this will take a while so be patient. Uh, it does take long enough that I'm just going to skip ahead again because it was stuck like this for a little while and no one wants to wait too long when watching a video, right? So we'll be right back. Okay, so now we can fill in the location where the HCX system is. So I'm, in my case, I'm just going to do a city nearby. We click continue. We give it a recognizable system name that will be shown in the HCX GUIs, for example, uh, for the connections. Now we can continue configuring ACX. So we will fill in the FQDN of our on-prem fee center along with an administrator uh, username and password. So for example, administrator at vSphere.local. Then we can also optionally connect NSX. So in my case, I'm going to connect my NSX team manager with it as well. So we fill that in and then the admin username and password. Once we've done that, we click on continue and then we wait for, uh, then we wait a little bit for it to validate. We import the certificate so it knows uh, to trust the NSX certificate. We fill in an identity source, which in case of an embedded uh, PSC on vCenter is the FQDN or IP address of your vCenter. Then we click continue and then we wait for that to validate and then we will be prompted to restart the web services and other services of the ACS connector and once that is done then we are done so this will be it for the first part thank you for watching and i hope to see you in the next video where we will be pairing the site between uh, the two ACX systems and uh, and also we will be stretching some networks and migrating a vm so i'll hope to see you in the next one bye